Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Can you see some red, white, and blue going on right there? Guess what I finally got out? My 4th of July bucket. Finally got my motivation. Actually, thanks to my friend Mary for sending me that cute flag decoration. I will get to decorating that soon. Maybe not today, because I really shouldn't be decorating today, because I still have 150 pages to read in this book by tonight. So, I'm gonna see how much I get done. My kids are only in school half day today, so I kind of like need to pick and choose what I do, because if I need quiet time to read a book, I need to do that while they're in school. But if I'm being a busybody and decorating, I don't mind having them around me. Gotta figure out what to do now and what to do later. But I kind of have a creativity streak going on in my mind. So I'm gonna act on it because I haven't for a very long time. So I'm gonna dive in and show you some of the decorations I have. I haven't done that for, a, I don't think I did it last year. I'm gonna show you the areas that I'm going to decorate, what they look like before and what they look like after. I already started a little tray here, let me show you. All right, so we've got a mix of pineapples, farmhouse, succulents going on still in that little tiered tray, but I brought in the blue flower. So I'm gonna do this area right here. If I have extra stuff, I'll do up there, but I kinda like leaving that one alone, but it would be kinda cute to put something up there as well. I'm definitely gonna throw something up there because it's pretty boring right now. I need to flare that up, up there, that's on the wall here by my kitchen so you don't see it too often. And then here on my counter, I don't have anything right here. That's where that little tray was gonna go from Hobby Lobby. But I was actually worried that it would really like get in the way with this little basket that I have on the wall. So I got music out for when I actually start decorating. This basket, you'll remember it was on my front porch. And I'll show you what I've done so far on the front porch, but I'm not settled on it completely yet. And my mantle. You guys have seen that I have not decorated my mantle in a hot minute. Like I really have not done anything. But I just got these peonies from my neighbor. Look how beautiful. Isn't that so fun? But I need to decorate my whole mantle and I'm needing to add some red and maybe blue up on my shelves here and over here. And fun fact, I have never decorated these shelves for the 4th of July. We did this right before Christmas last year. So I have yet to do a 4th of July. I don't wanna do a ton, because I like the look of it. So I'm just gonna throw in tidbits. I think that the houses already have like that fun, rustic farm feel anyway. And so I just am gonna add little sparks of 4th of July to this. All right, so I just brought stuff out to the porch so far. I've got my big, huge flag that I made years ago. Actually, two of my big flags. This one's just on a big board. And then this one is on the burlap with the stripes sewn on. You've seen, if you haven't seen me make these, I have quite a few of these. I've got like a big lemon and a big watermelon. And then I have just a bucket. I literally threw this together in like 10 seconds. So I'm not completely sold. Actually, oh, that broke. <laughs> but that's kind of a fun, quick little basket so far but I'm definitely gonna add something else to this little bench area all right so here's my bucket of 4th of July stuff I'm gonna start digging in so part of my process when I decorate is I, it's like a, a moving thing like I'm constantly like going from place to place and I'm kind of testing things out and pulling new decorations out I don't do it the same way every single year I sometimes I even look at the last year's photos that I did to get ideas but then I usually change it up so I think that's the fun of decorating. So I don't like to set up the camera and show you the process as much like in a time lapse because I'm not doing one area consistently. I literally like move and kind of try and figure it out. So I will show you along the way and then I'll show you the end result. And it's kind of fun to finally get in the mood to decorate again. All right, so I've been working for a little while and then I got kind of caught up reading my book. So I really need to read. Now I'm just under, just over 100 pages left to read. So I'm gonna show you really quick the little decorating that I've actually done a lot of decorating, but I'm not done. And I'm gonna make you wait till like a full just 4th of July video to see all of it. So I'm just gonna give you the little tidbits of it. Actually, you'll get some big sneak peeks into it, but I am gonna do a dedicated video just for your 4th of July decorations so that people can come just for that if they want to. So let me just show you what I've done so far. And then I'm gonna run to Target and maybe the dollar store if I have time. Like I said, the kids have early release today, so I've gotta hurry. So let me show you around. I'm gonna get a few things at the dollar store or the dollar spot because I just need like 
I need little red candles and I need just the, the little trinkets that they have at the, dollar, at the dollar spot to fill in. And then I think I'm gonna make something big and I'll show you what that's gonna be. All right, so here is the little tray that I have on my table. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of detail about what I have in them, just an overview here and I'll save the details for another video. Here's kind of the middle aftermath of part of my decorations. I've got all my orange candles here. I'm gonna tuck those away and pull those out after I put down the 4th of July stuff. And then I always pull my big bucket of flowers from my office and I just trade out and keep all the rest of them in this little bundle. So this is kind of, it's like my storage bin for all the flowers that I have. So if you need a tip on how to store florals, just put them in a vase and put it in your office or in your bedroom. All right, so here is the mantle so far. I'm only in love with parts of it. I love the little banner and the lights. Love, love that. Out of the little farm that I got from our little decluttering activity. This is my Christmas barn quilt that I made, which for, fits perfectly in for the 4th of July. But you can see here why I need something taller. Like I just need a, a space filler. So I think I'm gonna make something. And then I need some trinkets or a flag or something to go onto that shelf and that shelf just to add a pop of color. And then I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek. I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail here on this video. So I just added little 4th of July bits and pieces to the shelf here. And I'm gonna keep rearranging it because I just need little teeny things to add a pop of color. All right, so a friend is actually waiting for me. I need to give her some of the product that we have for my brother-in-law. So we're gonna rush off to Target, run an errand really quick, and I'll show you what we do from there. done my shopping I might just show you what I got at the dollar store and then I'll show you later what I got at Target just because the stuff at the dollar store I am so disappointed in our dollar store like they moved locations and it's closer to me and that's great except they still have Christmas candles out <laughs> I don't even understand why don't you have red candles so I got nothing for the 4th of July from the dollar store but I did get a solution for my ring so I got a little llama I'm gonna put these in the three different spots that I put my rings down because I'm again without my ring this morning because I forgot to go grab it and then a little cactus a little pineapple so so cute oh well I mean that I'm just disappointed in my dollar store but I didn't even show you around because it's kind of embarrassing it's super dirty and super messy nothing on the shelves is orderly and I'm making a lot of noise and then I got this cute little notebook for Ashley. My spirit animal is a unicorn. I didn't need to get it, but she just finished up one of her notebooks at church on Sunday, and I just know she likes these little flip books to color and draw in. And then the only other thing I got was a thing of uh, soda tonight. I think we'll do some Italian sodas for my book club. And then I also got a package of cookie mix from Target to make some cookies. I just don't have time to make them from scratch and all that kind of stuff. So I cheated today, but I'll get home and I'll show you some of the things that I got from Target from the dollar spot. All right, so I'm back at home and I just wanted to show you what I got at Target. I picked up some of these double chocolate cookie mixes. Super easy, I'm gonna make those up really quick. Then from the dollar spot, I just got one of these flags. I'm gonna put it in one of the pots outside with the plants. First thing I got were these kitchen towels. I love the bright colors and finally this red is the right color of red and I like the navy blue so I'm probably going to just use these draped over in decoration as opposed to in the kitchen and then sometimes they end up back in full use after I use them as a decoration. Then I also got some of these little flags. I thought they would be cute in like little jars or you know just part of the decorations on my shelves. And the last thing I got were these cute little stacking bowls. Some of the other ones had cute sayings on them and I was gonna get the white ones with the little sayings on them but I really like the color and that's what I was trying to get from Target was something with color to stand out on the shelves or around the room. So I just like these ones. So I might put little candies in them or I don't know, we'll find something to put in them. They're kind of cute. So I don't need to stack, I don't need to store them like this. We'll use them individually. 
So that's all I got from Target. I, like I said, I'm really disappointed in my dollar store. All right, so my kids are about to be home from school, actually like any minute. So I'm gonna put off decorating more for today because like I said, I need to finish my book, make some cookies, and get ready to have book club here tonight as well as like normally take care of my kids. So I will hold off. You'll have to see the final decorations in another video coming really, really soon. So make sure you subscribe and come back for more. Hi, Ashley. Hi. You have something special to show me? What do you have to show me? I can't tell you. Well, why can't, how come It's you're... a surprise. Well, where is it? In my bag. Oh, are you, are you gonna wait till we're home to show me? Yeah. Should we leave Chelsea down here? She's probably not gonna come back home with us, huh? No. No, okay, let's go back home because I wanna see my surprise. <laughs> Goober, I have a surprise at home for you. What? <gasps> we have to go home to find out what it is. And you are. That's kind of tricky when it's right back at you, huh? You should leave them to you. All right, we'll show each other something. You want to know what the surprise is? Yeah, what? Well, one, the decorations. Yeah. Right? Two, is it just the decorations or nothing? No, it's not just the decorations. I got you a new little notebook for church. Yay, unicorn. Do you like that? Yeah. Is that a good surprise? My. My, what does it say? Spirit animal. Is a unicorn. <laughs> do you like it? Yeah. All right, and snack, then, and then you'll, what are you going to do? Now I'm going to show you why. Is it in your bag? Yeah. Okay. All right, show me what it is. <laughs> okay, show me. Oh, it's your graduation announcement. Boo! Are you not going to be in kindergarten anymore? I'm going to be in first grade. You're going to be in first grade. This is a cute invitation. My teacher made it. That's really fun. Yeah. Can't show you the rest of the details, but I'm excited, Ashley. And Super fun. So I'm all set up for book club. I've got a little treat stand set up and drinks. Kaylee, you're making mac and cheese and Abby, are you making my cookies for me? Yeah, I guess. Thank you. That's because you want some, right? Like they won't all. mix up? At all. Oh, did we add the right amount of liquid? Yep. Okay, let's take a look at it. You always come when there's chocolate, don't you? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Abby's I got it all chocolate. situated. Mm -hmm. Okay. We just need to just stir it harder. It wasn't done in a blender. So you just had to use just a large fork. So it looks pretty good. It's got like the large chunks of chocolate chips in there. It looks really good. Thank you, Abby, for making that. And Kaylee is making, this is called what, dinner number one? Is that what we call this? Yeah. <laughs> and then you eat later on. Yeah, because it's quarter to five right now. So she'll eat this and then she'll eat again at like seven or eight. You can have one cookie after dinner. Deal? Deal. Is that good? <laughs> You're funny. Hey you guys, I apologize for not ending my video yesterday. I ended up reading for hours last night leading up to my book club. I think I read 120 pages after dinner. I got busy doing that, sent the kids off to kind of tuck themselves into bed. Jason came home, finished putting them to bed. I had my book club and only two people showed up. <laughs> I don't blame them at all. It's a busy time of month and year. One person hadn't read the book and the other person was only on page 200 of almost 500. So she couldn't carry a discussion <laughs> about the book at all. One person got sick, another person had like a last minute surgery yesterday and then other people just were so busy they just couldn't make it. So I felt bad. So that's why I didn't really do anything else with the video last night because I didn't have anything to discuss. We literally just sat and chatted as friends for like two hours. That sounds like man book club. Yeah. Man book club is a whole lot different than we movie. just hang out. Yeah. Have fun. Sometimes we talk about the book. Anyway. But we gotta get that going again. Whatever. Anyway, so we're starting our day. So if you want to see what we're doing today, um, go ahead and subscribe and come back for more. And we'll see you later, guys. Take care.